Hello, and thank you for watching Forward, the television show exclusively for your Mississippi State University College of Education. Later on today's episode, you'll hear from one of our newest members of the Dean's Office, Randy Catherine Harmon, coming on to help with recruitment for the rest of the year. And right now we have Mr. Michael Richardson of the Alumni Association. How are you doing today? Good morning, Paige. You're doing great this morning. Thank Good. you. Good. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we love whenever College of Education alumni actually continue their journey and their careers on campus. So, you work at the Alumni Association right now, so why don't you tell us just a little bit about what you do there. Wonderful. Uh, well, I am uh, currently, my title is the Assistant Director of Alumni Chapter and Volunteer Programs. Mm -hmm. I've been in this role, doing this job for the past uh, 18 years. Wow. And essentially, my job is to travel around the state and the nation, uh, bringing Bulldogs together, talking to them about the university, and getting them re-engaged with uh, all that Mississippi State's got going on for the future as well as today. So I, I really enjoy my job. It's a, it's a, it's a great job to have, and uh, I'm lucky to be talking about a, a subject, a topic that I'm, I'm passionate about. Good, well, again, like I said, we're so glad to have you here today. Now, which degrees do you have from the College of Education? Because well, I know you're a bulldog through and through, so. <laughs> Well, uh, I got here in 1987 and I finished one degree in a different college it's okay. uh, in 92, <laughs> but then I found my real college, the College of Education, and got that degree in uh, chemistry physics education wow. in 1994. Wow. I stayed on uh, and did some night work while I was actually a school teacher in West Point, Mississippi. Wow. And uh, during that time, I was working on my master's degree, which I accept or which I garnered in <laughs> 1998. Wow. Um, believe it or not, I actually started a third degree in the College of Education, <laughs> but my job has kept me so busy, I never could finish it. But wow. the College of Education has given me so much for so many years, and, and I was lucky to use my craft in a teaching position uh, for a couple of years before I decided to come back and, and work on that master's. Well, that's what we love to hear because, you know, a lot of people think College of Education is strictly teaching, but we've had several people on our show, and there are several people on campus who are College of Education alum, and, you know, they get to do a lot of other things using those degrees from here. Mm -hmm. So, in your current role, you say you're over the chapters for the Alumni Association. Right. So, how do our, you know, we obviously just had several um, graduates <laughs> from the College of Education this month. So how do those graduates become involved with their local alumni chapters? Well, when you graduate, uh, you're automatically a member of the Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you go out into the world, you're already a part of this big family. You stay a part of this big family. Uh, the way you get connected oftentimes is by uh, oftentimes word of mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, but we try to get ahead of things and, and we'll send you information, whether it's on our website or via your email address. Uh, but a lot of times these days we're using social media. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are we using social media? <laughs> yes, so we are. <laughs> you can connect through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram, through LinkedIn. There's a mm -hmm. lot of great people on LinkedIn to mm -hmm. get connected to our Mississippi State graduates in the College of Education. So there's a host of ways that you can get, get connected back to the, the Mississippi State family. Yeah, well I know I'm a member of our TBR County chapter and I love going to breakfast with the Bulldogs. Often get to see you there. But it, it is a great way to network for our future graduates and you just never know what kind of opportunities that organization can lead to. So obviously we know it's very important. But other than those um, opportunities, why else do you think our graduates should so strongly only become involved with the Alumni Association? Well, the Alumni Association is the, the mouthpiece for mm -hmm. Mississippi State when you're not in Starkville, Mississippi. Uh, graduates can go out and they can, again, network with fellow graduates, but it's also a, an opportunity to uh, just get to know people in a faraway area that, you know, when you go there and you, you don't have a friend, well, you'll always have a friend. You'll always mm -hmm. have a family member in New York City, in Chicago, Illinois, in Los Angeles, yeah. wherever you go. Mm -hmm. uh, being a part of the Alumni Association connects you worldwide with fellow Bulldogs. Wow. And it's a, it's a great feeling to go into a, a room full of maroon and white. Mm -hmm. so far away from Starkville, Mississippi. <laughs> well, that's definitely very, very special. So thank you again, Mr. Richardson, for being here with us t this morning. Um, I know this summer we'll have our send-off parties that we'll be talking about. And of course, as we talk about recruitment coming up next, this is another way the Alumni Association kind of helps with those prospective Bulldogs that we'll have in the future. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a few. We all depend on accurate weather forecasts to plan our day. That's why Mississippi State University is teaching students to forecast the future using real-world news sets as classrooms, putting scientific discoveries in meteorology to the test, 
while honing on-air reporting skills real-time with local TV stations. And we do it so well that at any given moment across the country, one in three weather forecasts are being delivered by MSU-trained meteorologists who are helping people make crucial decisions that impact their safety, working to ensure business continuity, and in many cases, saving lives. Predicting the future? That's what we're preparing for every single day so that you can prepare for your day. A baby's arrival can be one of the most exciting times in a family's life. It can also be one of the most anxious, especially if the child's development is hindered by medical challenges that create more questions than answers. At Mississippi State University, we're groundbreakers in the study of CHARGE syndrome a genetic condition that leads to a host of life-threatening birth defects. Our research teams are uncovering breakthroughs in treatment and prevention with a goal of greater understanding that leads to better care. We're also providing crucial support resources for parents and helping physicians around the globe gain awareness so symptoms can be detected and addressed earlier. By engaging in this innovative analysis and therapy, we're not only improving outcomes, we're unlocking brighter futures. Welcome back and thank you for watching Forward Television Show. Our second guest today is Ms. Randy Catherine Harmon. She's the newest member of our Dean's office and she's come on as a recruiting coordinator. So Randy, so excited to have you here this morning. Thank you, thank you Paige. So tell us just a little bit about yourself. So to say I am a new person in this position is, is a little different because I've been recruiting for Mississippi State for many years throughout my years at Mississippi State. I'm just fortunately now getting paid for it, which yes. is awesome. Yes, we're so, very, very excited about that. Yes, so I'm a, I'm a hardcore advocate for any student, any future Bulldog coming to Mississippi State. Mm -hmm. I believe in this foundation. I love this college. And it, when you believe in something so strongly, it's very easy to recruit for it. Exactly, exactly. And we're definitely going to see that this summer. So we're getting ready next month. We will begin orientation. So tell us just a little bit about what you'll be doing with that and maybe why are some of the reasons you're so excited to see our future Bulldogs? So gearing up for orientation is important because we have to be prepared. We are expecting a large number of incoming freshmen and transfer students right now. My, my largest role has been to call all the freshmen and transfer students and get them on the phone, talk with them personally, ask them if they have had any issues signing up for orientation if they haven't signed up for orientation I'm really advocating for them to come on to orientation because at orientation they're going to learn so much about the history of MSU they'll actually meet with their advisor to make out their class schedule and then they'll actually just meet some more people within the College of Education within their same major mm -hmm. which I think is a, a great thing because coming to Mississippi State you know it can be a little scary if you've never been to Starkville if you've never been on campus before but after you come to orientation you already have those relationships and you've built that rapport and I think it's going to be a, a great orientation this summer. I can still remember exactly who my freshman orientation leaders were, exactly who were some of the people. Like I still literally made one of my absolute best friends in my orientation group and it's just so weird how that kind of, you know, you get in. And I, I remember I was kind of disappointed because I was in one of the last sessions and I was like, oh man, I'm not going to get, you know, the best classes. I'm yeah. going to have all 8 a.m.s, but everything worked out perfectly. Yeah. Orientation was just like flawless and I loved, you know, getting to have that experience. So that, we're very, very glad that you're going to be a part of that for the College of Education. Well, thank you Paige. That's exactly right. I actually had a best friend that I met at my community college which is another thing that I think I also bring to the table. Being mm -hmm. a transfer student I can kind of speak on that side of things and then coming to Mississippi State. So I have a little bit of both in the background and yeah. uh, a girl that I met from Alabama was my roommate at the community college and I brought her to orientation. She was still a little iffy and once I brought her on campus and we had orientation together she was sold right then. Yeah. So just again advocating and recruiting for Mississippi State has gone way back, but now I'm just yeah. fortunate enough to be here full time. Yeah, well, the College of Education is, I believe it's the third largest college on campus, and we, I say this all the time, but we really do have just such an array of academic majors for our prospective students and our Absolutely. students now. So many wonderful graduate programs. So why do you think the College of Education is just so special, and why would you encourage freshman students to major in that college? 
So I think what I've learned just in my short amount of time here is that we look at each student individually. Mm -hmm. We don't look at students as a whole. You know, everybody has their own story to bring to MSU. Everybody has their own individuality. And I think by looking at every student individually is so important because some have different classes than others and we go through each student within the College of Education to make sure that they are successful here on campus at MSU and then ensure that they graduate on time. And within the College of Education, so many people that think that we only have education majors, you know, right. secondary mm -hmm. um, education, elementary education, but there are so many other majors within the College of Education with kinesiology being the biggest major on campus, that's within the College of Education. So yes. we're advocating for all of these classes is that you can take all of these different majors within the College of Education, whether you want to work in that field or whether you want to teach that right, study. Right. I think that's what makes us so unique. I, I also agree. And now, Randy Catherine, another big thing about our students that you're going to really kind of get into their minds is how involved they can be on campus. And I have to brag on Randy Catherine for a second. She's a former Miss Mississippi State University, so we're very excited about that. But, you know, through scholarship programs such as those, all of our um, student organizations just within the College of Education, um, how do you think students can get really plugged in, you know? When I'm talking to a student, I tell them, you know, every, every person has their own interest and their own passions. And if it's not on campus already, if there's not already a club or, or an organization already on campus, all they have to do is create it. And that's <laughs> yeah. what's so great is because if you have a passion and you have interest, plug in with those other people in that, whether it's health and fitness or if it's arts and sciences or anything that you want to become involved in and you want to further your education in, Mississippi State has that to offer. Wow, well that is wonderful. And now I know, so orientation coming up and then you'll actually probably be at some of these send-off parties with Mr. Richardson if I had to guess <laughs> um, later in the summer in July. So to all of our prospective students, transfer students, be sure and look for Ms. Randy Catherine representing the College of Education. We're so excited to have you Thank on you, board. Paige. Appreciate so, it. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching Forward. If you'd like to learn more information about the College of Education or the Alumni Association or orientation or anything with prospective students, just contact us and go to our website, educ.msstate.edu. Thank you so much for watching.